Ding, 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 ding. Welcome back to the Jenny Julian Podcast. This week, with a special guest, the Daddy Machine. Oh! Machine. She's back in action. Podcast regular. A, po- a podcast regular. Mm-hmm. A regular what? And behind the scenes, helper runner of the podcast. And thank Basically you for... the boss lady of the podcast. Thank you for starting us out with that dink dink. You're welcome. Did you I, come up with it by yourself? I always do what I'm told. That's not true. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Squarespace, guys. Build a beautiful website with Squarespace. It's so easy. They have the design templates, the fonts, the tools to build a website, online store, the way make it look exactly the way you want it to look with Squarespace. Uh, amazing customer support right now. Go to squarespace.com, S-Q-U-A-R-S-P-A-C-E.com slash Jenna Julian, and you can save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain or try a free trial. Also, guys, me and these keeping our butts comfortable for what four years now. Amazing underwear, three times softer than cotton. If you've never tried it, you don't know what you're missing. I would highly recommend you check it out. Get their me undies. They have all sorts of different prints. That is guilty over there. She's not wearing me undies. She's naked. <laughs> Go to me undies m e u n d i e s dot com slash Anna Julian. Save fifteen percent off your first pair. Free shipping and a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee. What is that noise? She keeps shaking her head into my head. Ah! So it is a special podcast today. Sit with your sister, Gildy. We're sisters. I don't think she wants to do that. Yes, yeah, she does. She does. She wants to sit hi, with baby. me. Hi. Well, We're if you're sisters. just listening, you can only imagine okay, how that's it looks a little with aggressive all looking. the dogs. Jeez. Hi, Gildy. Can you I tell you, this house Kermit? is like dog heaven Sit. over here oh, it is my, oh we, me and the dog come here i come i have a very nice time the dog is in dog heaven because there's like dog toys everywhere that aren't wrecked like at our house there's jenna's there's jenna's there's julian there's peaches there's marbles there's barking she running loves around. being held yeah she loves <laughs> being held yeah you can tell that right, right. say hi <laughs> she's like not having it <laughs> Yeah, she's. What can we tell you? She's a wild one. She's a terrier. I'm a. T- she's a terrier. I call her the terrier ist. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that's that's actually a funny name. Oh the terrier boy. Ist. <laughs> I mean, I think that's okay. I'm okay with it. I accept it. Oh my god. I'll accept it. Right? Sips tea. <laughs> cool shirt, mom. Okay. What shirt? I don't know about all that. That's a lot. What shirt? Oh, you can't see it? I just see a floating dink on the uh, on oh. left side of her chest. So. Nice. How's it feel to be back? It feels really good. This room is like so different than the other. I don't think I've been in, is in this house. You mm-hmm. haven't recorded an episode here, I don't think. <clears throat> so great. So great. Improved? Better? Much better? Unbelievable. Less crammed? Less crammed. Less. It's like, you know, just great. Still it's the great. same mediocre content, though. <laughs> <laughs> mediocre setup. Same, yeah. Same old, same More marble on the table. I know. He likes sleeping up there. So they have some uh, cold brew coffee here, which I just, I spit into. Okay, you know what? No, you didn't. And don't, no, you're not allowed to touch that. We're splitting that. No more pretending to spit in people's drinks. Before we started recording, Jenna put the coffee in the center and said, I'm going to put it in the center so you can reach it, Julian. And Debbie just quietly grabs it and goes, I spit in it. (laughs) You think you're so funny. I am funny. She is funny. Give us a Debbie update. How you doing? How's everything going? How's life? Life is great. Yeah? Great. That's yes. lovely. Yes, I live in Oregon, and uh, there's nice people there, and Kelly and, and I love it there. We walk deer every day. and creeks. Deer in the backyard. Yeah, my little apartment looks out over this beautiful creek with deer in the backyard. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I live near my uh, family up there, uh, Jenna's brother, so there's grandchildren and nonsense and running around and learning to walk and learning to talk and all sass. very exhausting learning to walk is very exhausting There's a lot of sass going on mm-hmm. with that uh, five-year-old yeah a lot of sass bless you for living near your son my brother <laughs> <laughs> everyone knows who the better child is yeah he's i'm yeah. kidding it's him you can't corner her on the podcast like that <laughs> yeah it's not allowed it doesn't work doesn't matter i'm not well i'm not 
<clears throat> I love how every couple of years you're like, oh, I just found the stuff. It was just like as if you didn't move it across the country to Oregon and like, you know, have it in a very specific place for all of these years. I was looking through this. I didn't read any of this, but I was looking through this and there's a book with like a leaf in it. You know, like when you you learn about trees and leaves. So you like, you know, tape a leaf. There's a perfectly preserved leaf in here. Like, you know where this stuff is. It's perfectly preserved. It's it's still a leaf. It's an organic. Hey, she brought it to you. Why don't you say thank you? Thank you, mom. <laughs> Anyways, I was taken aback. Going on about put, the leaf. Put, <laughs> put on my. Let the poor leaf alone, will you? I put on my Instagram story that. So my aunt Diane, your sister, worked at NBC for years. And right in television. Yes, journalism in, in news yeah she worked at nbc news so yeah. she did a piece on mr rogers in the 90s and got this autograph for me which i didn't know existed that says to janet from mr rogers 1990 as well as chuck abner and mr mcfeely this is so sweet it says janet it's a great having you as a television friend remember people like you exactly as you are your tv neighbor chuck abner that's so nice yeah, yeah. By the way, in case you um, haven't gathered yet, we're just going to be going through some of Jenna's old uh, memories and notes and things that Debbie Machine has brought uh, from her home. So we can all just relive all the sass that Jenna had and that Debbie had to deal with. Well, because you can't, you just brought all of this like gold content. This gold content. It's literally a a gold folder (laughs) with content that is gold inside of it. Well, so these look like. More of the I'm sorry, mom letters. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's a trunk full of them back in Oregon. Okay, I want That's them. a lie. That's a lie. Shall we get things started with some I'm sorry, mom letters? Well, I think I should start first. Okay, you yeah, go no, ahead. Let's, let's hear Debbie's piece. Because, look, you know, you're. I'm a mom. I happen to be a single mom, but you know, I'm a mom. I've got <clears throat> these two kids. And one of them is full of sass. Full of sass. Wasn't me. Yeah. Uh, her finger pointing at you <laughs> wasn't me. Uh, would argue I, that w- point. And I don't so, know what you're talking about. Right. And so, um, you know, what are you going to do? Right? I mean, you can't, you, you, you can't really, like, make her do stuff. you got to try to figure out a way to contain her in some way. And so I don't even know how this wasn't done to me, but somehow I had this idea, which she talked about on the last another podcast, which was um, to when she was out of hand to make her write a letter to me about um, what she had done wrong and apologizing. And then in some of them, I think there are there should be what my punishment should be. So I needed her to say what she did wrong because. You could never tell with her if she knew what she did wrong. She knew, but she would act like she didn't know. So she had to, the letter had to be specific. And then if, if, if she had a punishment coming, I wanted her to think it up. Um, so that, that's the background of that. And that's why there are so many of them, because many of them didn't survive, but many did. Wait, you calling me bad? A lot. I'm calling you a lot. I was bad? A lot. I was a bad kid. You were a lot. a lot. She said a lot. Called me a bad kid. No one said the word bad. My mom called me a bad kid. <laughs> oh, so bad. Right. The, I have to say, in retrospect, the fact that she always wrote the letter when I asked her to was, yeah. is really a tribute to her because yeah. I figured one day she would just go, I'm not writing no stinking letter. <laughs> no, because I was like terrified of you. You're terrifying. <laughs> I was like, fuck, That's I really she, fucked up again. Uh, that was an intentional move on her part to terrify you. Yeah. I Command just the other respect. Thing. She talks about how terrifying she was of me, but I I just I don't I don't see it. I don't get it. I don't I don't think I was scary. I don't well for however like much I messed up, we'll we'll see what I did according to to me in these letters, what I did wrong. But like I felt like I could have, you know, done a lot of bad stuff. Like I knew bad kids, you know, that were doing bad shit. Like I felt like I was doing okay. I could have been a bad kid, but I was way too terrified to like do like really bad stuff, you know? Right. Most of it re- revolves around being disrespectful to oh, me. Fucking disrespectful. <laughs> you and you the, disrespectful. The disrespect. <laughs> you disrespectful. <laughs> the, because it's sass. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. Like, mom, no. In fact, I had a friend whose little girl uh, was so sassy. Oh, my God. And she would, her mother would say, go upstairs and clean your room. And she'd go, no, 
problem. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend would be like, get upstairs. <laughs> She's going to lose my damn mind. Yeah. That's really funny. Yeah. No, I wasn't like, I would talk back, you know, like if my mom was like, oh, why didn't you empty the dishwasher? I'm like, because I didn't feel like it. I was busy. I was whatever, you know? She's like, it's, that's not the issue. I asked you to do something and you didn't do it. And now you're talking back to me. I'm like, what are you, whatever, mom. And then it's <laughs> up to your room. Go sit up there. You write a letter and you come up with your On own On top punishment. of having to do the dishes, now you have to write a whole letter. Yeah. So who made that situation happen? I, well, and two, it's like, you know, we're aware that we're there alone with our mother, you know, who's like worked all day and she came home and one of us is starving and she's like, I need dinner. And she's like, what the fuck do you want me to do? Like, I, I'm not Rachel Ray. Okay. I'm not Martha Stewart. Can't make you something in five seconds. Like, relax. Just chill out. I have heels on. You know, so we're like hyper aware that like when you stress out your mother, your your single mother, like now you now you done fucked up. Yeah, you, know? you can't you can't be doing that. Yeah, she would just yell things like "Help me!" <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "Shit! Wow, I'm a piece of shit. I can't even fucking empty the dishwasher. I'm fucking shit. I'm a shit person." I do remember you being like, "You come up with your punishment." And me feeling like, you know, really bad. I'm like, shit, I'm like, I fucked up. And I would like write down a punishment that like really sucks. <laughs> and then like, you're like, that's okay, yeah. And I'm like, shit, man. Why? She didn't even feel bu- like bad. She agreed to it and now I'm stuck with it. And you know, she three, just gave three you days, the shovel and you dug your own grave. <laughs> three days later, I'm like, I'm so stupid. Oh. <laughs> uh. That's like you though to a T, right? Like when you know you've done something wrong, you really want bad. to pay for it. Yeah. yeah. Like there's no, even if you get away with it, right. you're not going to let yourself get away with it. Yeah. You are, you are the police officer and the person you arrested. <laughs> you are both. <laughs> That's real. <funny. laughs> All right. Let's hear this letter. All right. Oh God. It's more than one. This one looks like my handwriting is like bigger and better. So I'm assuming I'm older. This says, Dear Mom, I'm sorry for oversleeping this morning. I didn't mean to act irresponsibly. It was only the first time, and I will try harder to wake up on time for school by going to bed at at least 10 every night, so I'll be able to wake up in the morning. I am also sorry for being rude to you last night and this afternoon. For this, I think it would be fair to extend my dishwashing duty four more days until Wednesday, the 27th of next week. I promise to try harder to respect you more and not to speak rudely to you in the future. (laughs) Thank you very much for offering me contacts for Christmas, but I really think it should be taken into consideration before then. (laughs) Oh, now I'm asking for something. (laughs) Negotiating. Yeah. Every time I forget to bring my glasses to school, it strains my eyes. I'm becoming more and more dependent on my glasses to a point where... (laughs) Wait, what did this letter turn into? A proposal? (laughs) I don't know. I'm negotiating, I guess. If I do the dishes, maybe I can get contact with Like, I'm sorry for not doing the dishes, but mom, can I please have my poor eyesight fixed? I had glasses. Um, I'm becoming more and more dependent on my glasses to a point where I need them for simple things like reading band music. Please consider getting them for me sooner. I'm sorry about the living room table. I didn't mean to ruin it. How did you ruin the table? Knows. It's just a pattern in my life. I tend to ruin tables. I've ruined you do. <laughs> You've ruined like three tables since I've known you. Like ruined, ruined. <laughs> it's usually from like nail polish remover or like you know. I'm sure that's acrylic what it was. nails. Like that one downstairs right now has like acrylic paint on and it. And your son like, has spread oil paint all over yeah. that one too. Okay, I said I'm sorry about the living room table. I didn't mean to ruin it. I put all the nail stuff. On the paper, but yeah, Devin Devin bumped it <laughs> out of the way to do his homework and didn't realize it was on the table. Once again, I'm sorry for everything. My dishes will be extended until the 27th, but in the future, it will be a week. Love, Jenna. And by the way, when you're, when I when it was your brother's turn and I would say, it's your turn to do the dishes, he would just say, I'm just going to throw them away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, a good strategy. Doesn't that sound like it? Yeah, it sounds exactly (laughs) like him. And I would say, you need to learn to cook. You need to learn to clean. What are you going to do when you leave home? He goes, 
I'm just going to get somebody else to do it for me. <laughs> oh my God. We're just going to throw them away. Oh my God. I'm like, are you for real? What is up with you? Really? Uh, just throw them away? <laughs> oh. Just imagine like getting actual like dishes, like ceramic, and just chucking them in the trash when you're done eating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one's just on an envelope, and there's nothing in the envelope. But this says, this looks like my handwriting's a little younger. It says, Dear Mom, I don't deserve, D-E-S-I-R-V-E, I don't deserve to have any dessert because of the way I acted to you this morning and at Zeb's and when I came home from school and when I opened the door. Oh my God, it's a laundry list. And said to Devin in a snotty way, I just want you to know I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I like the articulation of all the things. Yeah, the run-on right? sentence. Yeah, this is what I want. I, I want you to know how man, how often you were rude and snotty and rude. At least that one didn't have like a negotiation in it. Yeah, it didn't come up with something. I'm sorry for being snarky yeah. to my brother, which brings up a good point. Can I have um, <laughs> new glasses? I, I I don't recall ever negotiating in in most of these. Like, well, maybe you were just thing. like in the middle of writing, and you something came to your you yeah. thought of something, and yeah. you're like, oh, well, I'm here. I'm not <laughs> While I'm, uh, you know, communicating. Right, exactly. And by the way, look, I haven't looked through these. I don't even know what's in there. Okay. You know, so it's not like I have read through them or anything. Like that. This says, to mom, from Jen. Did I go through a time period where I like to be called Jen? I Did you? That, hmm. this, this is very young handwriting. This is, dear mom, I'm sorry for kicking you, <laughs> yelling, saying things that hurt, H-E-R-T, your feelings. I'm trying to figure out a way so this won't happen. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Oh, God. Good luck, Jenna. Classic. Cla- <laughs> classic, right? I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. I'm trying really hard to figure out a way that this won't happen. Then my leg won't kick you. <laughs> Good oh. God. Oh, Do you remember man. her kicking you? Do you have like memories oh, of God, that? No, but I have a funny story about my brother. We were at Thanksgiving one year, and somebody kicked me under the table. And I looked at him, and he goes, "I didn't kick you." <laughs> 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 That's a joke between me and my at the. Uh, we used to have this little table, and it was like, <laughs> you know, it was like a diner table, almost yeah. with the like metal legs. What would you call that style? It was like a 1950s cafe right. table. No, it was like a. It was like it was like, kitchen tables looked like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it had like a formica top on it. The right. sides were metal, and then the seats had that same kind of uh, pattern on the vinyl seats. Yeah, they were vinyl seats, so it looked like a little 50s table, and it was like in a little corner in our kitchen. So all, like, Devin and then my mom sat facing the wall, and then I sat on the end facing another wall, but it was, like, tucked into the wall. Yeah. So Devin used to, like, stretch his leg out and kick me under the table. (laughs) They were all always, like, kicking each other under the table, but, like, across my mom. Yeah. And, and that, I used to that do that fun. thing where I'd sit in the chair and lean on it, and the whole like leg was just like giving in. <laughs> you know when they were don't metal. Do that. Don't were... do that to the chair. They're like, metal. I mean, jeez. It's not like they're gonna. It's not like wood is gonna break or give. It's gonna like mess it up, man. It was fun. Kids, okay, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> it was cannot have nice fun. things. Fun. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this looks a little older. I had a purple pen. This looks like middle school. This says, Dear Mommy, I'm very, very sorry. Very is underlined. About last night, I got to do everything I wanted to do yesterday, and you were so nice to me, and then you asked me for one thing, and I didn't do it. (laughs) You can punish me however you want, and I will try my very hardest to be nice to you and do everything you asked me to. I'm very sorry. Love, Jenna. P.S., Thanks, T H A N X. So much for all my clothes and presents for Alana. I owe you about $25, would you say? This seems like you helped me buy a present for someone else, so I owed you $25. Negotiating the $25, though. That was also really nice of you to give your mom permission to punish you. (laughs) (laughs) I like the about $25. Yeah. Yeah. So if I give you 22 or 23, it's probably fine. There, it's probably all right, yeah. I, I just want to reinforce. You can see from what she's reading. 
there was not. It was like rude, like kid stuff. Being right? disrespectful. Right. Basically, stuff. She, she, I, I, we ne we never did this one. We, you never really did anything wrong. So, dear mom, I'm sorry for being rude to you today at the mall and in the car. You drove me everywhere I wanted to go and let me do everything I wanted to do all weekend. And I'm sorry I've had an attitude. I've just had a hard week, a really hard week, and it's not very easy for me to be cheerful because and I, didn't, I didn't mean to take it out on you. Thank you very much, though, for buying me glasses and at least letting me look at shirts. Thank you for trying to be nice and happy towards me. Love, Jenna. Hmm. That's nice. She, even though you misbehave, she let you window shop. She did. That was the rule. When we go to the store, it was like you ask for nothing, and I might buy you something. But if you go to the like the grocery store, I remember store, that rule. I had that rule too. Had that rule too. Yeah, yeah. But that's why I would get good at like sneaking things into the grocery cart, at least for groceries. But yeah, couldn't ask for things. You just had to just do what you were told, and then yeah. maybe you could get a treat. Right, because people are in the store and their kids are like, I want this, I want this. Like, don't ever start don't do that. that. Don't yeah. do that. We're not allowed to ask. Right. That's smart, actually. Yeah, but you got to start it at the beginning. You yeah. can't do that when they're like four or five No, yeah, or that six. is too late. Then, you got to yeah. start it from the very beginning, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mom was like, you know, we go to the grocery store and we're sitting there just like, oh my God, maybe if we're good, we'll get something. We get to the checkout line, she buys us a pack of gum and we're fucking mental. We did it! <laughs> oh my God, we did it! <laughs> All right, this says, Dear Mom, I'm really sorry about how I acted towards you this weekend. I'm sincerely sorry about how awful I was on your birthday and also how I broke our agreement on the sleepover. I'm sorry that Libby and I stayed downstairs watching Liar Liar longer than we were supposed to. Legendary and phone. Also Legendary how we stayed up late and ate candy. <laughs> I, I guess I was a little grouchy this weekend because it was the last few days of vacation, but thank God... For you being so patient with me <laughs> and for driving me around places with Caitlin on your birthday. I'm sorry I was really rude to you today on your birthday and all the weekend. So I'm just also to confirm, you were rude to your mom on her birthday, right? <laughs> okay. I'm also really sorry that I told you I would finish my book on vacation and I didn't. Oh. And then you gave me extra time to finish it. Thank you for being so cooperative this weekend with me. Love, Jenna. You see in the pattern here, right? I'm seeing the pattern. She's like, "Oh no, I'll be good. I'll do it. If you just if you help me do if you just do this for me, mm -hmm. I'll be. I promise, I'll do everything you say." Liar, 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 liar! Just like the movie. <laughs> this looks like I can never read your handwriting. It's like an ancient script that I cannot understand. But this is this looks like an agreement <clears throat> between you and I in June of 1997. Where I wrote in the top, it says, I promise not to whine and help around the house more. And then we, we agree to work together. Yeah, I can't read this. But then you signed it and I signed it with a smiley face. This is an agreement of what I'm not going to do, basically. <laughs> is it like, is it a legal binding document? Yeah. Is it notarized, maybe? Let's see. Oh, this is some, this is a good paper. Oh, yeah, you both signed it at the bottom. <laughs> There's no term length. This might still be in effect. <laughs> January 97. I think it's still in effect. This this looks like I had just learned cursive writing, and I was really, really giving it to you on this one. I was like, I'm going to write her a hit curse, her, cursive hit, letter. Hit us with the cursive. Dear Mom, I'm sure we can come to an agreement. One idea I had was every time you do something nice for me, I do something nice for you. Every month... We will try to squeeze in a mom day where you have nothing to do and you get to kick back and relax. You get to pick the date. I just want you to know how grateful I am. To make it up to you, I will not watch TV for a week. I sure hope that this note pleases you. Since you are taking me to the museum, why don't you think of something I can do for you in return? Sincerely, your very, very, very sorry daughter, Jenna. I don't know what I did that time. <sighs> it's a little glimpse. A little glimpse into the teenagehood of... Or the I wasn't a teenager of, in those. Yeah, One of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, right. Sorry, the... the you learned cursive the, when you were a teenager. <laughs> yeah, I learned cursive when I was about 16, same the time I drove the a emerging, car. Uh, the emerging uh, 
human that is sitting here with us now mm -hmm. that we love so much. Don't, don't be disrespectful is the We're, lesson. Don't be disrespectful. That's the lesson. <laughs> that is the lesson. <laughs> oh, God. So do you have more apology notes? What, what I don't else know if I have in? more apology notes. Let's see what else is in here. These look like a lot of stories. Yeah. yeah I, I, this time I tried to bring what she has Ooh, written. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to hear some Jenna, some Jenna, what is it, fiction? Yeah, there's stories. Prose. There's, there's the frog. I want to read the, the frog. The Ooh. frog is like its own whole little book. The frog. Ooh. All right, children, gather round. We're going to read a story called The Frog by Jenna Oh, wait, Morgan. can I see that real quick? What? I love this. Well, this little design, it looks like one of the templates that Squarespace lets you pick from when you're designing a website. Yeah, it's really beautiful. If you I can wrote see that it. when I was a child. It looks so nice. It's and not if, a segue. If you want your website to look as beautiful as The Frog here by Jenna Mori, then you could go to squarespace.com slash Jenna Julian and choose from one of their beautiful templates that look very similar to this. Right now to build your website, whether it's for your small business or for a hobby, whatever it is. Squarespace uh, makes building a website incredibly easy. They have 24-hour a day, seven days a week customer support. They're on the horn with you anytime you need help, whether it's a question about how to make something look right on a tablet or how to make your online shop look a certain way or how to get control over the fonts on this part of the page, but not that part. They, you can customize every little tiny thing on your website, and they make it incredibly easy to do so. So right now, give it a shot. You can try the free trial when you go to squarespace.com. Or you can get 10% off the first purchase uh, of a website or domain when you go to squarespace.com slash Jenna Julian. Building a website has never been easier. Now do it with Squarespace. You will uh, you will not regret it. It's a really great, awesome platform. Also, guys, when you're sitting there on your computer chair building a website or standing there at your standing desk, treat your body right with some me undies, okay? They have amazing three times softer than cotton micromodal fabric built underwear. They have new prints all the time, really cool artists collaborating with them. They have a uh, awesome thing where you can get a dual pair uh, for you and your person. If you wanted to match underwears, you can do that. They have a system where you can each get the same type of pair in your own size and, and cut that you'd like. They also have bralettes. They have socks. They have onesies that Jenna was wearing all day yesterday. And I didn't feel good. I've been sick all week. She's been sick. So I've only been wearing my MeUndies onesie. Honestly, when you're sick, it's a great time to pop on the old MeUndies onesie. When you're anything, it's a good time to <laughs> pop on the MeUndies onesie. Good. That is true. That is true. Um, yeah, so they have all sorts of loungewear, and I'm telling you, like, it's all exactly the same softness. It's just so mind-blowingly soft, um, and you really have to just try it out to believe it. So... If you're keen, go to MeUndies.com slash Jenna Julian. Get 15% off your first pair, free shipping, and they guarantee your satisfaction 100%. So for whatever reason you don't like it, send it back. They'll refund you your full payment. Um, doubt that's going to happen, though. Check it out. Click the link below. All right, on to the frog now. Do you want to read the frog? Read us the frog. Read want, us want, the frog. I want to hear Debbie read it. The, the frog by Jenna Moore. Hey, hey, you got to do it like a story. Yeah, you got to get up oh. on the mic. Okay. <clears throat> the Frog by Jenna Mori. Copyright 1993. Wait, you copywrote this? Hell yeah. Mori, <laughs> Mori and Company. Hell and yeah. here's a... Wait, or is this video going to get striked? Yeah, for sure. Oh. Mori and Company going to copy your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and this oh, is a picture shit. of a frog that she, that she drew. It's a green a blob. It looks like and a car. And it says, that's me. So you Hell are yeah. the frog. This book is dedicated to my mom and dad. Aww, look Aww. how pretty I drew you. That's look, cute. look how big your lips are. You got a lot of lipstick on. <laughs> look how sad. I like that your, black dress. Your left Where'd arm you get that is black dress? so nice. short and sad. You have clubs mm. for arms. Mm. Um, compliment her. Don't yeah. say she has clubs for arms. She has a nice <laughs> well, dress on. At least on. you have arms. At least yeah, your dad, dad doesn't arms. have any arms. He is just <laughs> he's like bubbles coming out of his shoulders. What's actually funny is that you made your father's clothes purple and turquoise and no would he would never wear anything no yeah, he wouldn't ever. wear those colors I no don't, that man even... that man wears the color called blue and yeah that's, that's it he's like and black once upon a time there was a frog the frog was on a lily pad oh picture of the lily pad as you can tell i was artistically gifted at a young age part of the lily pad might be uh green screened out here we're not sure what that's yeah. going to look like also the yeah. frog might be green screened out so the whole story might be green screened <laughs> out <laughs> 
He was very nice. It was a frog that was never mean. Never mean. And here's the frog and the turtle. You have, you have it, you may. I wrote you may and then ran out of space. So above it, I wrote oh, have it. I see. He's giving a turtle a, what looks like a rock. Mm-hmm. You may have it. Mm-hmm. You may have it. Mm-hmm. I like how you said you may have it. You That's may have correct. it. Very nice. Then the frog met a goose. Hi, said the goose. And here's the... It's a good goose. Here's the thought bubble with hi, with a nice exclamation point. What? What's your name? My name is Frog. Mine is Samantha. In the thought bubble, it says, what's... What is it's that a say? speech bubble. Speech and it bubble, says, sorry. what's your name? So oh. it's a little redundant with okay. the speech bubbles in the okay. text. The goose and the frog became friends. What does this say? It says <laughs> it says dress up, but dress up and play or something like that. Okay. Let's play or Let's something. Play. Is okay. that a cake? What is that? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It looks like a wooden Look, bucket yeah, we're that you playing... take a bath in or something. No, it's like oh. one of those places that you go in a park that has like the, you know, in upstate New York, they have those like big castles with the... Oh, yeah, the wooden play Yeah, the structures. wooden yeah. play structures. Okay. The goose said, look, there is a cool stream. Let's go have a drink. And here they are drinking. And now it says the end. What? <laughs> that was sudden. <laughs> I was excited to hear about their adventures. And here's the best part about the author. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Jenna Julian Mori has one of these too. Hit us with it. Jenna Mori is six years old. She likes to do gymnastics. She likes to play all different kinds of sports. Oh, mine's so tame compared to yours. Six years old. What was yours? It was like, I'm well, Julian I'm Julian. Olimita. I'm six years old. I have a tool belt. I'm going to go see Polly the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my class has an incubator. My class. <laughs> I was flexing for my class. <laughs> oh, my oh, gosh. Yeah, they were really big on making books in, in yeah. high school. So, so you could get published. That was Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's very... It's like you stable the edges, right? And then it turns Yeah, I mean, into, in that yeah. case, I'm sure they made those co- covers out of um, <clears throat> old wallpaper. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So. All right, here's a full book. Ooh. I like I like when you read books. I'm oh, like yeah. a little kid. Oh, yeah, Debbie, read you, us a story. No, you read me a book. Okay, so this is... Uh, My mom also used to always say I was obsessed with holding her hands oh. and making her go like this to me. Every minute? Every minute. She was like, you either need, you're either like away from me and can't be anywhere near me or like glommed on top of me oh nonstop. That's really? somehow not surprising. Yeah, like this. Read it to me like this. <laughs> All the time. All the time. Right. Yes. And then she would like walk with me and like, right, like, I, you just, you, I can't even walk. Why are you walking in front of me? I'm tripping over you. Read it to me like this. I can't turn the pages. Yes, I'm stronger than you. <laughs> I can't turn Risk the pages. Control. Nice. Okay. Give me your elbow skin. I know that. She to, just like play with my elbow skin. That's so freaking Jenna. weird. What the shit? Stop. Is, that what? is weird. I mean, it kind of is fun. But, it's really... Know. Have you felt her elbows? No, it's so fun. Stop. That's hers. <laughs> no, it's mine. <laughs> okay, the potato cake. Read it to me like this. <laughs> the potato cake. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Look at that. In a very big box in a farmhouse cellar, there were lots of big, fat potatoes. Oh! One day, the grandmother came down to get some for her midday meal. Wow. Okay, that's an advanced drawing I did not know I could ever make. Oh, look at this. Out of the Are you box, sure this is by me? Out of the potato box, the biggest potato called, I do not want to be eaten. I am the king of the potatoes. But the grandmother saw the big potato and said, oh, what a beautiful potato. I will make a big potato pancake for me. This isn't my book. I didn't write this. She walked across Mm-mm. the farmyard. The big potato jumped one, two, three out of her basket, and rolled through the yard into the garden. I, this isn't my book. Stop, big fat potato. I will eat you. A hedgehog called, stop, big fat potato. I will eat you. But the potato said, grandmother didn't get me, and pick prickle skin won't get me either. He rolled one, two, three into the woods. A big boar saw him and said, stop, big fat potato. I will eat you. I can't draw like that. This isn't my book. Oh, it is my book. She kept saying it's not her book, right? So then the rabbit saw him, the prickle skin, snuffle nose, 
Yeah, but I think I think this is the, these are the two good pages here. Two children saw him and said, "What a nice potato! If we could get it, mother could make us a nice big fat potato pancake." The king stopped rolling, and the children picked him up, and the mother baked him into the most delicious pancake ever. That's the so the he goes through all that trouble, and then in the end, he gets turned into a pancake. Yeah, that's Got life. It. Julie, are you good? Yeah. Yeah, go on. I just need to unplug Debbie's mic for one second. Okay. I'll find us another riveting story. Wow, I remember working really hard on this one. There's a, that's a lot of good artwork in there. Oh, we got some little short stories. All right, sorry, I'm back. What is that? 1996. I was 10. I think you should read your sh your own short I want to hear Jenna read some. You? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I haven't read these since I was 10. This says, Vibrato end for life. Jenna, 3 12 1996, 11 10 a.m. Don't get it twisted. This is. I want to hear this. <laughs> Killer Tofu, spelled T O F O O. This is very. This sounds like it's influenced by the television show Doug. I was minding my own business when it came, exclamation park. Help! It's mom's killer tofu. I was about to hurl. Mom made the worst tofu. Now sit down and eat your dinner, said the victim. <laughs> E.M. Right now, I sat down helplessly. Fine, have it your way. As long as I don't have to eat that horrifying tofu. When I was done, I crept upstairs to give my cat Bonehead a visit. <laughs> Hi, Boney. There was a knock at the door with no K. N-O-C-K. <laughs> Come in, I said, no answer. Come in, I yelled a little louder. I went to the door. No one was there, exclamation mark. <laughs> hmm, must have been my sister Eve. Just then, my X-Men Wolverine telephone rang. Hello? No answer. <laughs> Hello? I screamed hysterically. Give me your life! Give what me your life? Mean? It just says, give me your life. <laughs> wow. Are you going to kill him? That's the end of the story. Oh. I've never heard that sentence ever in my life. Give me your life. That's, well, all we know is that I had a Wolverine telephone, so. Sounds pretty great. That's what makes it original. All right. Yeah, that's you true. Know, that's true. It's like an original cover. It's a really necessary detail. This one is called The Man. That's it. That's the story. The next day, school was a jam. Everyone seemed as if the world was going to end. What is the matter with you people? I asked my best friend, Jimmy. Get into the real world, Matt. Did anyone ever tell you that Michael Jordan is here? I, seven ellipses, hey, where are you going? I didn't even stay to hear the rest. Wow, Michael Jordan at our school. I rushed to, the, this is very 90s. I rushed to the gym door to take a peek at Don, 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 Michael Jordan. <laughs> When I looked in the gym door, <laughs> hey, that's not Michael Jordan. That's just some old man. He tried to make a shot, but he fell down like he had a heart attack or something. I rushed in to help. I ran over and asked if there was anything I could do. To my surprise, the old man had the same voice as the man on the phone. Oh, these are the same story. Okay. Ooh. They're just different chapters. I get it. Okay. Ooh. So the same person that said, give me your life is the person that my school thought was Michael Jordan. Wow. Yeah, what a twist. I feel fooled. Oh. Next chapter. Real oh. or not? Will you young gentlemen please excuse us for one moment? The man said timidly. The two men left with a puzzled look on their faces. Listen, kid, I'm not going to tell you what D's I have. But all I can tell you is I'm going to find where you live and take everything and own you and your life. Then in a cloud of smoke just disappeared. Oh, he's going to own you? gonna own me so you're 10 years old when you wrote that yeah wow that's quite intense <laughs> imagine being a teacher and reading this and being anything other than like <laughs> good <the> <laughs> good one <laughs> well what did it what like what would her teacher say to you oh i didn't bring any of the report cards but i, I had Aww. report cards yeah, oh, I, yeah want report I want to i want to know what the teachers <clears throat> thought of jenna <clears throat> They, they basically thought she was cooperative and nice and people liked her, and it was true, right? I mean, 
Yeah. You know, no teacher was ever no, like... Not disrespectful, not disruptive, nothing. No, not in school. No, no. only to me. Yeah, only, only to at her. home. Yeah. 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 But I, I wasn't like an asshole, but she'd be like, do this thing. And I'd be like, I don't want to, you know. Yeah, like normal defiant kid things. What's in this? I can remember screaming at them. <laughs> Just screaming at them. Oh, this one's so nice, though, Mom. It's a broken heart, and it just says, I'm sorry everywhere. <laughs> you know, I'm getting a little bit of a sarcastic vibe from that. That kind of feels like you're making a joke of it, and I don't know if I, I would have accepted it. <laughs> so many well, I'm sorry. somehow it was kept, so you yeah. may be right. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so I'm sorry. sorry. This is a journal? I'm going to think up how to, how to not make that happen again. Right. I mean, gonna, no one's listening to this podcast anymore at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've lost, we've lost most yeah, of them. Goodbye, like, everyone. Oh, goodbye, guys. <laughs> everyone's like, what have we tried? But you know what I am interested in is, yeah. so I hope what this does is it makes all these people think that are listening about their own stories and what, how they were when they were little kids. Yeah. And, how much fun it was to write a story or to, you know, draw pictures and mm-hmm. yeah. tell stories. And I want, kids are the best. Why don't we read this one called Chocolate Dreams? Can I read it? Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to read it. <coughs> Chocolate Dreams. <clears throat> Who's the author? Jenna Mori. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this looks like an advertisement, but here we go. <clears throat> Are you in desperate need of a deliciously sticky, smooth, sweet, and whipped chocolate sundae? Of course. But how do you make one? I'm here to tell you how. The materials you need to make this extraordinary treat are Hershey's Hot Fudge, Vanilla Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream, Juicy Cherries. Is this a recipe? Uh, Ready Whipped Cream, M&M's, Chewy Gummy Bears, Jesus Christ, Rainbow and Chocolate Sprinkles, a bowl and a spoon. I think I was hungry. (laughs) (laughs) You first get all the materials you need, then you get them ready to be used. Then you fill the bowl with two scoops of melting Ben and Jerry's vanilla ice cream. Very specific. Spray soft and fluffy whipped cream all over the ice cream. Get out the hot fudge and warm it in the microwave till it's hot. When the hot fudge is ready, drizzle it. This This is a recipe. Drizzle it all over the whipped cream. Bury the ice cream, hot fudge, and whipped cream with tasty sprinkles, crunchy M&Ms, and chewy gummy bears. Ew, gummy bears. I think we are learning about, like, adjectives, you Mm -hmm. know, because they all have adjectives. Now to crown your masterpiece. Whoa. Plop as many juicy cherries. Mm -hmm. You already said juicy cherries as you want on top. you know what? We're done. Minus one point. Now you need to make a wonderfully chocolatey, fluffy, scrum diddly umptious sundae. You wrote scrum diddly umptious. I'm cute. You are cute. Now for the best part, eat it and enjoy. Okay. Well, now I want an ice cream sundae. Chocolate dreams. More? Moon launch number one. Good night, sweetie. Big day tomorrow. First day back at school, my mom whispered softly. Good night, mommy. I love you. I replied, pretending to go to sleep. My mom left the room. Buckle up, I said to my stuffed animal pig, Mucky. I scrunched over my covers and began moon launch number one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Captain Commando Finger, you and Lieutenant Mucky must get to the rocket ship. Take off as soon, screeched Miss Camella, one of the nurses. What? If she's just a nurse? I don't know. Oh, okay. All right. Right away, I whistled to for Lieutenant Mucky. Squeal. I think they squealed. <laughs> <laughs> Mucky squealed a loud squeal as he came to my side. We approached the rocket ship and got in. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. I mean, blast me off. I said calmly. Hey, hey aye, aye. I repl- he replied over the radio. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. The computer echoed softly. I watched the sky get dark. I saw the earth and watched the universe seem to... You wrote, suck the window away, but then they corrected it to blast... Sorry, blast the earth away. Bam. Uh, We hit something hard as I looked out the window. I didn't want to know what it was. Mucky and I slipped out of our, slipped on our spacesuits and pulled open the hatch. Whee! I screeched as I flew out. I landed on the lifeless surface. Foom, foom. Two colored lasers flew past us. 
of course, Commando Finger. This is incredible. Of course, Commando Finger, the one and only me, the master, knew that those lasers were aimed at us. I swirled around to see what the commotion was. I gasped as Lieutenant Mucky was being held by ugly green aliens. Great googly woogly, you guys are aliens, I screamed. <laughs> of course we're aliens, you mumbling minuscule neener head. <laughs> Ooh. Who did you expect? Santa Claus? C-L-A-W-S. <laughs> Snivelled one of the aliens. Who, who, who are you? Where do you come from? I stumbled on my words. I looked down at my knees. They were shaking so much I couldn't stop them. Return, Earthling, or your life will be eternally punished. We stood there over the boiling green acid, tied back to back on a thin plank. Walk now, the alien demanded as he whipped us. Mucky, I whispered. Press the emergency liftoff button. Quick. Blub, blub, blub. Cling, cling. Er, liftoff. That's the sound effect. That's the noise it makes. Your spaceship just goes, lift off. (laughs) We were in an instant built rocket ship used only in emergencies. As we floated back to Earth, I heard my mother's voice. But in space, I opened my eyes. Bobby, Bobby, wake up. You're late for school. My mom ran out of, ran out of the blank. I don't know. It just says blank. Sat up and said to Mucky tonight, we'll start moon launch number two. Mm. Thank you. Incredibly creative. I will say that is a, Quite a ride. Felt I felt immersed. Thank you. Did you have a fascination with space? I liked space. I wasn't like a kid that was like, I'm going to be an astronaut. Well, I mean, you love Star Trek, so. Still love Star Trek. I don't know. Do you want to read any of these, Mom? I don't know. Why don't you read this? Show this, this picture. Oh. Oh, you like this one? Well, you could read that one. Who's that? Is that you, Jenna? Yeah, that's me. I'm wearing overalls. That actually looks like you. Thank you. It's a self-portrait. Well done. done. This was, uh, this is the Wizard of Oz and the Wicked Witch, in quotations, of the West. This, uh, This exercise, I remember, was like, take a classic fairy tale and write it from another character's perspective. Wasn't this before, like, Wicked and all of that stuff? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. So I did it from the perspective of the Wicked Witch. Oh, I like that. But it was really fun. Like, everyone's came out really good. They were really fun to read. Yeah. The Wizard of Oz and the, quote, Wicked Witch of the West by Jenna Mori. I is the first thing, and then it's circled. Take the wind right out of my fucking sales teacher. Who are, am I, need to identify who is telling this story. Did you not see the cover or read the title? You fucking, what the hell? What is this criticism? Hello? I stepped quietly out of my nice little bedroom and rubbed the sleep away from my eyes as if she didn't fucking assign us like, hello, write it from another person. I'll I'm taking up the whole... I'm still mad. Sounds like she was out to get you. <laughs> She's jealous. She's a hater. Okay. <laughs> You're just a hater. <laughs> a brand new day had begun. Petting my monkeys with care, I planned my day. Mm. I had never originally planned to be an evil witch, to tell you the truth. I wanted to be good, like Glinda, the good witch. It was just in my blood, carried down from generation to generation, so I followed it all. Besides, it's not like I could pass as a normal person with my green skin and crooked nose, but it was bad that I just dis- was just discriminated by the munchkins and good witches. That just makes me mad, but you learn how to deal with it. I gazed into my crystal ball to see how the land was going, and then suddenly there was a great disturbance in everything. A whole cottage, the whole thing, just flew out of the sky. I was so appalled to see that someone would just fly their house onto my premises. But that wasn't even the worst part. The house landed right on my very own sister, the Wicked Witch of the East. That was the last straw. I clambered to find my broomstick broomstick, and raced over as fast as I could. The nerve of the person who killed my dear sister... Right? My fucking sister my fucking sister's plus, dead. Plus I clambered. Yeah, I clambered. Word. Clambered. When I got there I realized suddenly that the house had belonged to a young girl. She was pretty. Too pretty. She had a wretched little dog that yipped and ran about as if he owned the place. As I looked at the girl a little more closely, I realized she was wearing my dead sister's ruby red slippers. Oh. First she kills her, then she steals her most pres- pies prized possession my ambition in life from that point on had changed completely it was to kill that girl 
Soon, everyone grew to love this Dorothy girl, including the Tin Man, this Lion, is interesting to and hear from Scarecrow. This perspective. I like it. I have had personal problems with each of them separately, <laughs> but those are all stories on their own. The point is, together, the five of them made the ultimate enemy. They were all off to the Wizard of Oz, as I grew to learn, each of them to gain something from him. I had to stop them. I tried everything, but it was impossible to stop them. Fire, sleeping poppies. I even sent my own fleet of winged monkeys to stop them. It was just not fair that I couldn't win. I kept thinking of my sister and all the good times we had when she was alive, so I gave up, but apparently they didn't. They came to my house, not once, but twice. Stole all the possessions of mine, like my broom and my hat, the very things that make me a witch. But now I was just steaming with fury. Finally, my guards caught them in the act and looked them up and locked them up in a dungeon to bring them to their death, slowly and painfully. I had rejoiced, my trap, at the end of those horrible people tormenting me. I had set an hourglass to keep the time before they would die in the dungeon. Oh. But second before, the last grains of sand slipped out through the tight, compact space of the hourglass. The crazy scarecrow went and got an axe and broke down the door and saved them all. It was terrible, just terrible. All of my beautiful plans have been ruined as the chance to kill Dorothy had slipped through my fingers. Your beautiful, murderous <laughs> plans. <laughs> so fucked. Then, as they came after me, they were armed... With a pail full of water, the only way to kill a witch, and dumped it all over my head, sending my body into a mushy pile, steaming and bubbling as I melted and died as if they hadn't done enough already. <laughs> so here I am, on the judgment day, trying to convince you I'm not bad or evil, just misunderstood. All I have to do now is defend myself in this document of my last days, hoping you'll understand how it feels to be wrongfully accused. The whole story just got mixed up. Please find me not guilty so I can find my way up to heaven. I know you make the right choice. Thank you. The Wicked Witch of the West. Wow. Clever. Very interesting. That's Very like clever. an interesting assignment. Very clever. Well, especially to, to, to have it set in this court where you're being judged, yeah. right? I yeah, mean, that's, like purgatory or whatever. Where it's you're very like, clever, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Wow. Well done, Jenna. Thank you. So I, I hope everyone goes back and finds their stories from when they were little. Yeah, they're fun. Listen to them. They're fun. Love yourself because you're cool just the way you are. Even if you had to write hundreds of apology letters <laughs> for being a piece it's of shit. It's worth it. It's worth it because you probably deserve to write them. <laughs> I did not. I think oh, your brother good. used to write them, but they weren't anywhere near as entertaining as yours. Why and were mine better? Well, because, you know, you would... Because there was negotiations yes, you, happening. Yes, each one would, was a, you know, sort of a, an interesting... His his punishments probably were pretty uh, standard, whereas you were, you know, always thinking up new ways to punish yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Jenna's world. She's constantly innovating her own punishments. Oh, gosh. I just think it's funny. Like, you, I remember you getting to the point where you couldn't really punish Devin because he, like, early high school, like, he didn't want to go anywhere. Like, he never left. Like, he didn't go do anything. So it wasn't like she could be like, you're grounded. you know, yeah, you're grounded. Because yeah. he'd be like, I'm going to be here anyways. <laughs> like, it got to the point where she's like, get out of the house. Go get, go do something. Go call your friend. Here's the phone. Go call David. What are you doing? Go play basketball. and Just get out. He wouldn't get out. Yeah. Well, then then he turned. He got to be a, a sophomore or a junior, and then he then he was great. Then he had all his friends. And yeah. Everything changed, but yeah, he liked to hang around the house, and I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to leave him here by himself. I stayed home because yeah. he's just such a tall, giant person. Well, I did tell him, um, look, you may get bigger than me, but you'll never be tougher than me, and I. I oh. Yeah. And that shit. is true. I hold that to this day. That is he true. He may be bigger than me, but, you know. Never be tougher. Squash him like a bug. Oof. Oof. Get him. Oof. Get him, machine. I'm telling Grind you. Grind him up. I'm telling you. The other thing about this one that I was thinking of is um, I, used to, I used to say to myself and to the people, with this one, food, clothing, shelter, and love, and just get the hell out of her way. Because yeah, get out of my way. She was, I think that's... Just, she was just a force of nature that was, was moving forward. Well, yeah, I mean, well, I'm trying to raise her as a child. So you're trying to make sure she doesn't get in trouble or hurt or something. like. I mean, this, is, this feels like a full-time job to me. Oh, yeah. To make sure that this force of nature does not, you know, get injured or yeah. something bad happened to her. That's what all of this was about, was trying to make sure she stayed safe. But uh, that wasn't that wasn't the case with her brother. He he needed more stuff. But she, you know, I was just trying to figure out how to 
not squish her spirit, right? Well, Which was really important. My spirit. But uh, you know, but keep, keep firmly going. guide her into place. See if you can guide yeah. her into into place. Yeah. At least I was always good in school, though. Like I was terrified of authority. Like I would never talk back to teachers or like be that, rude. That's something about you that I I'm still I, that you way. still that way, and I, I like honestly, to follow the rules. I respect it. I do from time to times. I'm you know I'm like a, a little bit like wow that's a little overkill or like maybe you don't need you know every single flight she's reading the instruction uh, safety emergency manual um, and you know. It, Always, you know, there's just no rule she breaks out in the world, which I respect, but Jenna, Jenna, <laughs> sometimes you don't have to be afraid of authority. Oh, gosh. I want to oh. make sure I'm following the rules. I know. But rules are made to be broken, right, Debbie? Come I on, have, just. I have so much trouble not breaking the rules. That's right, baby. Break them rules, baby. I mean, I don't want to be disrespect. The big, my big fear is that I'm going to be disrespectful. I don't want to be disrespectful to anyone. I don't like that. Yeah. But as far as you know, just doing something because somebody told me to, like, mm, I don't know. I'm not really feeling that. Yeah, I think that's. How about that's you? Fair. You like to follow the rules. You're kind of an Aries. That's not following. The I don't rules. love rules, but I also I get why they're there. And I, I my thing isn't that like the rules don't apply to me. I'm more important. It's like I can gauge how it's supposed to be done and I can make it happen. Right. I know I, I can see the situation. I know my goal, what my goal is. I know the expectation of how I'm supposed to act. And I'm like, I can come up with a way to do this, that, that will be safe. Trust me. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't need to follow the exact rules or recipe or whatever. I know how to do this. Just trust me. I got it. Right. But you don't really got it, right? I mean, you don't um, 100% got it. You just believe that I, you've got it. I, d- I don't know for a fact that I've got right. it. I have to go and try it. And then in the middle, I know more of mm-hmm. whether or not I got it or not. Mm-hmm. And then at the end, it becomes apparent mostly to other people, but secondarily to me if I actually had it. <laughs> so she'll see quicker than anyone if I had it or not. I, I think this is another good lesson for for all of us, which yeah. is... You don't have to 100% know how to do something to give it a go. I like that, yeah. Yeah, and if people are saying, you can't do that. That's people say that to me all the time. You can't do that. You can't start a business. You can't really, I'm like, just you do it your you way. Do I'm going to do it my yeah. way. And then, you know, you, and, and it's your in, life. And the do most, it the way you want. Yeah. I don't understand how me doing whatever the fuck I want with my life has anything to do with you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, and, and in the... Um, you know, fake it till you make it, right? Like, you know, figure it out as you go. And, you know, if, if like Jenna always says, if, if you meet someone and they say that they have everything figured out, they're just a straight up liar. They're no one's lying. got it figured out. So, absolutely not. They're lying. Or they're so boring. I mean, if you really, really believed that, then you would live in such a bubble that it would, your life would be stifling. St- I don't even know how you would be alive, really. I mean, yeah. I have a question. What's your favorite Vine? I don't really... I didn't really watch Vines. Yeah, much. so what's your favorite one? <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite Vine? The 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 first one. No, 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 no. No, give no, us no, an impression of the... Oh, your favorite Any Vine. Any of them. Any Vine. She's sticking her tongue out. Should we cut? I swear to God, what the fuck are you doing? This is what happens. Okay, you know what? You need to write me an apology note for this right <laughs> She's now. Malfunctioning. That's disrespectful. We asked her he a asked question. You a she question. didn't know the answer to, so she just malfunctioned. I said I didn't know, and you just kept pushing. So I'm just gonna do what I feel like. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the podcast. Thank you. Um, thank you, Debbie. There's two of the two of you still left listening. Thank you. Thank you uh, for being for gracing us with your presence today. I love you guys. Love you. Thank you for all your support, everyone out there and here. And gosh, everyone, you're 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 the Dink fam is just wonderful. They're so wonderful. And they they're are so funny. Oh my God, they're so funny. They're Hell way funnier yeah. than us. Way funnier than us, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's than me, I should say. I no, us, guys are all of us, all three of us. So clever, so interesting, so fun. Um, Hug yourself right now. You guys have a wonderful week. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. We'll be back, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.